Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial guide here on Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new way of speed farming Nell in Regalith range for uh, school mashers without actually activating him. So uh, I've just seen JocksDude139 actually doing this, so uh, go and check out his channel. Um, it's actually quite good to see uh, new glitches being discovered this late into uh, the game's existence actually. Um, but yeah, there was a previous way of farming Nell without actually activating him and uh, it was using Claptrap's uh, I am rubber, you are glue skill, I think it was, to get the uh, Torg Fiesta going. That was patched, uh, but there is a new way of doing it. Uh, so here we are at Nell anyway. So to normally activate Nell, you've got to pick up a mission uh, quite early on in Regalift range, just after uh, Deadlift called Last Request, I think it is. Uh, then you've got to uh, actually do the mission, collect all those letters, you should know the drill, there's a letter there, there's a letter up there, uh, then you've got to come down and actually uh, place the letters here, call him a dick, Dick Nell, I think it spells out there, um, that will trigger him, he'll uh, run away, get a load of enemies in, and then just, uh, you know, run over there and start... Um, well, spawning people, you've got to kill them, and then Nell will turn hostile, and you've got to kill him as well. And that's a long ass process. But there is a new way to actually do this to bypass him while he's still neutral in his friendly state and actually get skull mashers. Um, so, yeah, to do this, you're just going to need one weapon. You, it's called the Wombat, and uh, it's a shotgun made by Torque. And uh, you basically get this from Janie Springs in Concordia as part of the Zapped missions. Uh, I think it's the Zapped 3.0 mission. She'll give you the Wombat. So uh, go ahead and pick that one up if you haven't already got it. It's pretty easy to get. You've just got to uh, do a few little side missions. And eventually you will be granted the Wombat Shotgun. Uh, and the method we're going to use here is just basically um, a shoot, drop, um, and switch uh, program uh, well, method. So we're going to shoot the actual shotgun. Um, then we're going to uh, drop it on the floor immediately as the bullets are coming out <coughs> and then uh, you can just simply pick it up and then wait for the explosive damage afterwards. That's the only way it works. It's basically uh, putting explosive damage down and uh, actually um, hurting now without actually him being hostile. So uh, I'll show you quickly how to do it without touching now. So you're going to uh, shoot, like I said, and then drop your weapon on the floor. There you can see, drop the weapon, and then you can just go ahead and pick it up. You can do this quite quickly, um, probably not too quickly. You've got to uh, actually wait for the, the animation of the bullets to actually come out. You don't want to uh, open your inventory up too quickly. But there you can see, there's the explosive damage right there. That is what's going to be damaging Nell. Uh, so we'll go ahead and give this a little go. I like to stand around here to the left-hand side of him. So we're going to shoot, and there you can see the bullets coming out there. Open your inventory up pretty quickly, but not too quickly. Um, drop your weapon on the floor and then you can proceed to pick it up and if we wait a little while you will actually see that it will hurt now. Now this doesn't hit every single time as you can see it's a bit frustrating you've got to find the right space to actually stand in um, but if you do you know 10 or so in a row it'll actually work eventually and uh, yeah it'll take damage. Uh, now this will not instantly one shot him unfortunately but there you go you can see there's health off just there. Um, so, like I said, it's just finding the sweet spot, really. But uh, let's go ahead and do an actual uh, kill. So, here we go. I've uh, grinded away at his health, and uh, one more shot should actually do it right here. So, we'll go ahead and do that right now. If you do it just one shot by one shot, it does take quite a while. So, do it as many times as you can until he actually goes down. But there you go. You can see he's actually exploded. He hasn't turned hostile once. He was still friendly, not attacking us. Nice and easy. And there you go. An easy school masher right there. Now, I did this for about 20 minutes, and I actually managed to get about four or five school mashes with this, so I'll show you all the footage of uh, them dropping, but it is basically very easy, and as you can see, this is how you want to do it, really. You want to just shoot, reload, drop your weapon, sorry, not reload, shoot, drop your weapon uh, when you've opened up your inventory, and then just pick it straight back up, shoot again, and just keep doing it like that, and I normally do this about 10, 11 times, something like that, before I actually stop and then just watch his health go down. It will go down while you're doing this, so uh, yeah, normally when I stop after about 10, he's only just one or two shots away, which is very handy. Um, but yeah, it's not the most rapid thing in the world to actually do, but if you get a good smooth pattern going, uh, you can kill him pretty easily. Then you can just simply quit out, 
come back into regolith range and do it all again so uh, yeah there you go another skull masher drop thinking this is the last one right now um, and there you go all these skull mashers in uh, about 20 minutes so absolutely brilliant little glitch and uh, really really good way to actually farm now very easily um, without actually having to uh, do all of the spawning and things like that so guys, really hope you've enjoyed this. Nice to see new glitches being discovered in the pre-sequel still. Thank you to joltsdude139 for finding this. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm going to go ahead and use this to get skull mashers for uh, the grinder to uh, actually help with my legendary run. Um, sorry, my hunt, um, which is uh, pretty annoying to have to find legendaries to grind. So uh, this is a really easy way of doing it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching another Borderlands the pre-sequel tutorial. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Go ahead and give it a try yourself and uh, let me know how it goes. Anyway, thank you and I'll see you in the next one.